Welcome back to Tyson's Tennis Tips. Back indoors today and it's going to be all about showing you how to get more speed and more spin off your overarm serve. Let's do it! Starting with the spin, using spin off your serve is a brilliant tool to use. It enables you to bring the ball down quicker over the net, enhancing your consistency off your serve. It also results in when the ball hits the surface in that service box, it's, the ball's going to move in a different way, putting the opponent um, off balance, making them almost second guess what you're going to do and increasing your chance of winning the point off your overarm serve. So big question is, how can you get spin off your serve? I've been thinking about this for a while. I want to keep it really simple for you. So we're talking about your wrist. So with the serve, it's really important to loosen your grip. It's a chopper grip with the serve. So you just shake hands with the racket, but try and keep your grip really loose. So not too tight, so loosen your grip. What that will then allow you to do is it allows you to then twist your wrist as you connect with the ball. Technical term for that is pronate. So when you go to strike the tennis ball here, you need to pronate your wrist as you hit the ball. And that's gonna help you bring the ball down over the net and also allow you to start creating a little bit of spin on the ball as well. So hopefully it should look a little bit like this. I'm just gonna show you this wrist action here as I connect with the ball, okay, using my wrist to bring the ball down, pronating the wrist, getting the ball to spin and come down over the net. So I'll start from this position here, ball toss out in front, and you can hear the sounds when the racket hit the ball, looking to try and pronate, twist my wrist as you hit the ball. So that is one top tip to generate more spin off your overarm serve. So we've spoken about how to get more spin off your serve, which is a brilliant weapon to use. But the next part is how to get more speed. So if you can hit your serve hard, the opponent has far less time to react, has less time to know what to do on the return. And it just puts you in a great position to not only win more points off your serve, but to hold serve in general. So three top tips to get more speed off your serve, starting with the ball toss. So everyone knows when they're serving, one thing that can go wrong is this part here, throwing that ball up. So you need to make sure with your ball toss to get more speed off your serve, that it's going at around about one o'clock. So for a right-handed player like myself, ball toss needs to be at one o'clock. So just in front to the right of my body. For the left-handed players watching, Ball toss needs to be just up high to the left of your body at 11 o'clock. So that's where you want your ball toss to be. Now, if I can get my ball toss out in front of my body, that also allows me to get my momentum and my body weight going forwards on contact. So in turn, that's that top tip uh, number two, making sure that you're leaning forwards, your momentum's going forwards as you hit the ball. Last thing, so top tip number three, I mentioned this in my last tutorial video, it's that slow to fast racket head tempo. So start slow with the racket and build the speed up as you come through. So really important that you serve starting slow with the racket head, finishing fast. And they are my three top tips to get more speed off your serve. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button below. Give the video a thumbs up and please do comment. I would love to hear your thoughts on the top tips, whether you found them useful, whether you didn't, just overall really what you thought of the video. And I'm hoping it's gonna help you get more spin 
and more speed and more power off your overarm serve. In the next tutorial, I am gonna continue the theme on with the serve and I'm gonna be talking about a beginner's guide to the overarm serve. See you there.